Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Now, of course, before we get started, let me explain what's going on and uh, why I'm putting plastic all over the walls of my apartment. No, I'm not killing a hooker like Patrick Bateman in American Psycho. It's just, you know, my apartment had some damage during Hurricane Irma, and I'm having some drywall work. So until then, uh, I got a ton of stuff covered in plastic, including my closet and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so sorry for the strange appearance. And today, I'm going to talk about Brema, or rather, I'm going to rant about Brema. Uh, and of course, before we get started, again, quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing the IWC Portuguese Chronograph, one of the most beautiful chronographs in the world, in my opinion. Perfectly balanced, uh, modified ETA, which is actually rather thin for a 7750. I really love this watch. I think it's one of the most beautiful watches out there. It's a dress chrono, which is very rare. Not many companies make a dressy chronograph. And it's actually available for sale now at Delray Watch Supply. Check out delraywatch.com and link in the description below uh, for details on this beautiful chronograph and a whole bunch of other watches that I have for sale. But let's get to the meat and potatoes of today's shorter video. Bremont just released another limited edition. That doesn't surprise anyone, does it? It's the Bremont 1918 uh, limited edition to 275 pieces in steel and 75 pieces in uh, white gold and rose gold. And this is a tribute to the RAF, the Royal Air Force, uh, which is the British uh, kind of, uh, it's the British Air Force. Not kind of the British Air Force, it is the British Air Force. And when I saw this thing, I'm like, wow, that's really a nice looking watch. I mean, I'm looking at pictures here. Um, the moon phase has little plain uh, drawings on it. The dial is a nice touch. You know, it's full of nice little touches. The crown is knurled. It looks like a great watch. And then they flipped it over, and I'm like, wow, that's a really nice uh, Eta 7750. They did a great job with the rotor, and I was really impressed. And then I saw the price. 11, over $11,000 for the steel version. And the first thing I thought was, I wonder what those guys at Bremont are smoking, because I want some of that. Guys, $11,000 for a modified, a, yes, a heavily modified and decorated 7750, they're out of their mind. They're out of their gourd. I mean, 275 pieces limited. Pe the only people that are going to buy this watch are people with more money than sense and people that are attached to the RAF or they're probably British themselves. But man, this is out of their mind. And $24,000 for the gold version. I mean... It's kind of freaking laughable. This is, this is something that kind of annoys me because, you know, to use a British expression, brands are kind of taking the piss. I mean, where do they get off charging this kind of money? And maybe I'm missing something. I could be entirely wrong. This is a rant video. This is an opinion. Maybe I'm missing something. But if I am, it's because Bremont didn't explain it very well. But who do they, th who do they think their consumers are? I mean, to, to just piss away over 11 grand on a watch which is realistically worth between three and five, you know, maybe six, because it's very well decorated. I mean, this is kind of laughable, and it's annoying because they're taking us for fools. What do you guys think? Am I, am I going over the top on this one? I don't really have much to say. I think it speaks for itself. Over $11,000 for limited edition 7750 base movement, uh, modified though, Bremont watch. I mean, doesn't, it, doesn't that say all of it? What do you guys think? Leave leave your opinions in the description. I'm just going to leave you with that thought. I want to know, honestly, what you have to say about it. Personally, I find it laughable. I think they did a shitty job in marketing it. They didn't explain why it's so expensive. They didn't explain what's so special. All I can see is a watch, which is three times the price it should be, at least in my opinion. Guys, I'll leave you with that thought. Thank you so much for sticking around for another episode of Federico Talks Watchers. Please don't forget to tune in Monday while I do a more comprehensive episode. But I just had to cover this crazy news because, I mean, especially in this climate, what the hell were they thinking? Thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.